But we're starting with what it means to live life on hold. There are an estimated 6,700 DACA recipients, and that stands for Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, here in Michigan. Over 700,000 in the U.S. still waiting to find out what their status will be. Democrats are expected to reintroduce the DREAM Act of 2019 in Washington this month. For Juan Gonzalez here in Detroit, it's been a long wait. It's those feelings of anxiety, of fear, of uncertainty of what happens next, you know, what can happen next. And it's, I mean, it's, it's like soul crushing to have to live through that. It's, you have to live in the shadows. It's been a restless year of waiting for 25-year-old Juan Gonzalez, a DACA recipient and vocal advocate for a permanent plan for dreamers here in Michigan and across the U.S. So many avenues get shut out once you don't have a status, once you don't have a work permit or, you know, a working social security number. It, it really shuts you out of a lot of different places and it's, it becomes, uh, all these things become exclusive and it makes you feel like you're less than, like you're less than human to a certain point. It's, it's dehumanizing. Juan Gonzalez, thank you, sir. We first met Juan rallying for immigration change in southwest Detroit back in 2017, after President Trump announced he wanted to end the DACA program. Juan was brought to the U.S. when he was just one year old, and this is the only life he's known. Thanks to DACA, he graduated high school, has a job at Quicken Loans in Detroit, and at this rally was one of the few dreamers to publicly put himself out there and pick up the microphone. With DACA, I was able to get a job buy a house, buy a car, go to school full-time, work full-time. It's been a great time, honestly. It's been marvelous. But now it's all in danger. Since then, he's worked with other dreamers and immigration advocates to keep their stories heard and to help people understand that DACA recipients have education requirements, they pay taxes, that he's not an issue to be discussed, but a person living in the only place he's known, working hard for a future. On top of the fact that we're being faced with deportation soon and there's a spotlight on me now, it's a little bit, you know, frightening, but I mean, someone has to speak out. Our stories have to be heard. And if you don't Juan is now aiming for law school to become a lawyer and help others facing the immigration process. His status is up for renewal in a year. And while he waits for that, his family got some good news about his parents' status. Yeah, some great news. They became permanent residents last year around November. So, and they went to Mexico for the first time a couple weeks after that. During those 20 years, they've been here the whole time. The siblings that were born after me, so my little sister and my two little brothers, they're obviously U.S. citizens, but uh, I do have an older sister who was also uh, a DACA recipient. They can actually apply for us at this point as permanent residents, but it would take you know, decades for the application to go through. So, and I have bigger plans. I'm not on a decades time table here. But it's difficult to plan a life without knowing how far down the road to look. Juan's status can affect his ability for student loans, a work permit, personal loans, and much more. The Supreme Court hasn't taken up the DACA case, which means any movement would have to come from Congress. There were hearings in D.C. last week. For Juan, uncertainty is his normal. We have to be, you know, a little bit realistic here of, you know, how, what I can do based on my status, but that doesn't m mitigate my ambition and my drive to, you know, get that law degree. I'll worry about my status once I get to that point, but that's not going to stop me from, from my goals. I mean, it never has. And never, my parents always taught me, hey, I mean, just always figure out a way. For more coverage on immigration issues, including a closer look at DACA, just head to our website at DetroitPBS.org.